Good day. I'm so glad you stopped by my channel. I want to welcome my new subscribers and I want to welcome back my subscribers. Today I'm going to be talking about acorn squash. Lots of different varieties of squash, but let's talk about acorn squash now. It enjoys full sun and when you plant the seeds in your garden, you create a little hill. I have about a one foot tall hill and I know that sounds really tall but it's not and I plant five to six seeds per hill. I dig a little hole in the middle and then put it about one inch deep. I don't put them all together I put them around the hill. You put the seeds in and loosely cover them with soil and it takes approximately six to twelve days for seeds to sprout. It loves plenty of sun. Again, it's a squash, so it's going to need room to spread with the vines. The pH is 5.5 to 6.8. And you wait, obviously, 70, 90 days before the first fall frost. So you have to kind of calculate if possible. The way the weather is, it's really hard to calculate. Today, it's 28 degrees and it's snow and ice. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be 70. So it's very difficult to, to figure out when and how to plant sometime. Well, how many squash come from one plant? Depending on your soil and your conditions, up to five squash off of one plant. Now, there are different type of acorn squash. So is it a vine or a bush? Well, some are climbing and some hybrids are bushes. Do you need a trellis? You can use a trellis, but it has to be a pretty heavy duty trellis and anchored well. Use a soft tie. Again, there's going to be a video coming up on soft ties and ideas to tie the vines to the trellis. If you don't want to use a trellis, have plenty of room for this plant to move and grow. The vines will spread. Another thing that I suggest that I've done before, on the hill, after the plants have, have sprouted, I put two to four inches of straw under the plants. So when they have uh, the squash grows, it won't be sitting on the ground. And I continue to place straw under the vines so they have a place to grow and, and not get damaged by the by the soil. Well, I am so glad you stopped by today for this short video on squash. I hope you consider growing acorn squash this year. If nothing else, just get a pack of seeds, maybe still at the Dollar Tree if they have them, four for a dollar, and try growing acorn squash if you like squash. Again, don't buy or grow things that you don't eat and don't like. If you don't like squash, don't grow it. Don't store it. Don't dehydrate it. Try something else, maybe a new herb. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And in the comment section below, again, let me know if you're going to try acorn squash. If you tried it in the past, how did it work out? What did you do with it? Did you can it, fry it, dehydrate it? Or did you just eat it, you know, baked? Because that's a great way to eat it also. I appreciate you stopping by, and I wish you great gardening.